I graduated high school with a uh, full ride scholarship at the University of Cincinnati in the Learner Honors Plus business program. And I was excited just to move on with the next step of my life. And it was my story. And for the most part, God really wasn't a part of it. It was November 20th, 2009. And I was on I-75, headed south towards Gallenberg, and um, on the way, I lost control of the car. From there, it was deemed paralyzed below the shoulders. I was put on a ventilator, given a feeding tube, a pacemaker, and really just began fighting for my life. I was gonna prove the doctors wrong that I was gonna get back on my feet, I was gonna walk on my own, and it was gonna be all on my own doing. And so I got back home from the hospital and, and worked vigorously on physical therapy. Slowly began to realize that this was not gonna be a battle I could win on my own. I knew of the stories of Jesus heal, healing the paralyzed man. And so I began to turn towards Jesus as if he was some genie I would go to to get my healing and get back to life as I knew it. And it was really in that, pro, in that time that God met me where I was, and rather than just seeking healing, I, I began to seek the healer himself. From there, I continued to see God work in tremendous ways in the way that he provided just the right people around me, um, gave me a second chance to um, connect with my family in a way I hadn't before. And also just from the fact that there's just aspects of paralysis that just kind of suck. And having people, uh, I'm depending on people throughout my day to, to get me dressed, to feed me, to drive me wherever I need to go. I mean, even to, to, to scratch my nose or something. It's, but it's, it's times when someone may look at me and, and feel pity on me and think, oh, how could you even want li to continue living in that situation? And that's, that's when I really understand the peace that transcends all understanding that God provides. I know that ultimately that God is good and he has, he has a way of redeeming each situation for good. And, and it, it's the times when I wake up at three o'clock in the morning and I realized, you know, I, I, I can't get out of bed, I can't check my phone, I can't, can't do anything, and realized I, all I can really do is look up and, and just cry out to God, and, and, and I believe that I, I want to take him at his word that he says, if we seek him, we will find him, and I want, I want to continue to, that to continue to be my, my posture. Um, it's been interesting to me how someone may say, "Oh, you know, you're you're so positive. You you, you you've got a great head on your shoulders." And uh, it, it's almost as if people look at me and think I jump out of bed and think, "All right, it's I'm excited. It's a great day to be paralyzed." And I, as if I live by bumper stickers and short pithy statements that will just kind of boost me each day. And uh, it's times like that when I'm just thinking like, give me a break. It's, there, there's, no, there's no way after four and a half years that I'd still be sitting in the same position and, and realizing that, that, that there is good that's come out of this, that there is um, a hope for my future without God continuing to redeem over the past few years. You know, if, if my life would have gone according to just focusing on myself and being about um, my own world and, and uh, the path of college and the good job lined up, and then, you know, it, it may have been more, more comfortable. It may have been um, an easier road, but I never would have experienced God in the way that I have.